Station, station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Europe's automated transfer vehicle is docked to the International Space Station for the fifth and final time. The ATV-5, named George Lemaitre, wrapped up a two-week journey by linking up to the Zvezda service module on Tuesday. It's packed with close to seven tons of supplies, including propellant, water, various gases, and dry cargo, and will remain attached until January of next year. And just one day after the successful docking, the crew opened up ATV-5's hatch and began unloading the nearly 5,800 pounds of dry cargo inside. Some of the science that has arrived includes a highly advanced joystick system called haptics, which will study the remote control of robots on Earth by astronauts in space. Also arriving the Japanese zebrafish, which will help us understand the most basic mechanisms of muscle loss in microgravity. And it's the return of the spheres, and this time they're smarter than ever before. The synchronized position, hold, engage, reorient experimental satellites, or spheres, have been outfitted with a special smartphone that features a custom 3D sensor and multiple cameras. The satellites were set loose to attempt to navigate and map the interior of the ISS. The plan is to one day use these flying robotic orbs to do work that requires mobile sensing to measure things like radiation levels and air quality inside the station. This week's social media question comes from Peter who asks, why do astronauts wear masks when they open cargo ship hatches? Well, the launch up to orbit can be a little bumpy at times, so there's always a chance tiny things like dirt or even paint shavings can be knocked loose. So until the crew has the chance to turn on fans inside of a vehicle to pull any debris away, they wear masks and eye protection just to be safe. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.